Hey what is up guys Akash here back with another video and today we are going to check out this OLED display module from DF Robot. This is the OLED 12864 and this is uh, of the line of Fire Beetle series. So this is a stackable module or any microcontroller from the Fire Beetle series. It consists of an 128 by 64 pixel uh, 0.96 inch blue OLED display uh, a joystick. This is a five button joystick and two digital buttons. So let's get started. So taking a look at this OLED display from dfrobot.com, we in the box get two packets. One has the OLED display and the other one has some headers. So let's cut this package open and this one also good thing is they provide everything in ESD bags even the headers so the headers won't get spoiled so this board not just only has the uh, 0.96 OLED display but also packs in some other features which I'll let you know in some while so you must be aware of this type of OLED display which we generally use with our Arduinos or ESP8266 or 32s this is a 0.96 OLED display with an I squared C interface uh, Adafruit is the most popular library which we use with this so this one has this uh, display integrated in a clean uh, metal casing over here and there's some instead of this clear uh, thing there's a matte finish so that's some good thing right away also apart from that it has two digital oh those are soft tactile buttons very satisfying to play with these buttons so these are two digital buttons connected with I guess the D5 and the D8 I'm not sure yeah the D5 and the D8 pin if I'm not wrong so these are connected with those we have a three axis accelerometer IC over here so this is the BMA220 and this is also connected to the same I squared C bus with this has a different address obviously from the OLED display apart from that we also have this small five way button you may say so right left top bottom and you can push it all the way down also uh, and this is not connected to the digital pins this is connected to the a0 of this board so these fire beetle series boards have been designed to be stackable with each other so in the previous video we saw the asp8266 board from df robot as well and this is also from df robot so this is the fire beetle series and what we can do is align these corners and stack it on top of it so we can make anything with this and we are also going to use a LoRa a fire beetle series board to make something special stay tuned to our channel for that one so this is this and taking a look at the back of this board we have a chip select switch so there's a dip switch going on over here apart from that there's the special IC which I haven't mentioned till now this is a multi language library chip so there are many languages stored in this for the fonts on the OLED display so you can use that so there is I guess a simplified Chinese Korean Japanese foreign font multinational Unicode and something code page I'm not sure what that is so that is it and the headers we get with this so we can use this header or this one we'll use this one as we'll always mount this OLED on the top of the stack We'll also solder this board. So I'll use an old breadboard to align these pins with the OLED display so that while we place this anywhere, it doesn't get misaligned. So once the soldering on the modules was done you just need to uh, take a look at the module carefully you will see at any fire beetle 
series board on this as well only one corner is white and the others are black so here also the white one and the other three are the black one so you need to align these white corners with each other and you just need to stack both the boards together and this is applicable for any of the boards of the fire beetle from dfrobot.com when this is done you just need to plug in the usb cable from the laptop to the sp8266 or the sp32 whatever you are using and you are ready to go absolutely no breadboard wires or jumpers or anything like that it's just simple plug and play so let's get to the programming part to get started we need to download two libraries from github the first one is the df robot oled12864 and i have mentioned all the relevant links in the description below after that download is done head over to the second link and also do download the bme280 library in your system once both downloads are done extract the oled library then rename the extracted folder and remove the word master from it this step is compulsory once that is done copy this folder now open your arduino libraries folder this is in generally in the sketch folder of your arduino and paste the oled library folder in this folder similarly to repeat the same steps for the bme 280 folder rename the extracted folder and remove the name master from it and then copy this folder and paste it into the libraries folder once that is done you can launch the arduino ide after launching the arduino ide go to file then examples and then under the examples from custom libraries you will see both the df robot libraries once that is done under the oled12864 find the test all example and open it look for the correct board under the tools tab for me it is fire beetle esp8266 then plug in your board and then go again to the tools tab and select the correct port for me it's only com9 available so it's auto selected and then you can hit the upload button once it's done uploading you can see the results on your oled display so as soon as the programming is done this comes on the display so the code which we have uploaded in this uh, test all the features of this oled display module so the first one the oled module so you may see obviously it's displaying something and it changes according to what we do so first one is the analog joystick or it's a tactile joystick i didn't like the feel of it so when you press it upwards it shows up down right left and when we press it from the top it shows center so that is working fine now moving to this button let's see so when we press a it shows different things i think it's temperature humidity pressure and altitude i don't know how that altitude is being calculated because there is no chip but when we let it go it goes off pressing the b button it shows the accelerometer position so x y and z and there you can see the accelerometer we also had to install this accelerometer library and so it is a simple fire beetle concept and this and using this uh, shield you can very easily make uh, a game a portable game a basic game like an 8-bit game we used to play when we were kids so there are two buttons you can use this and a joystick again not a great joystick but yes a usable one so this can be used for many projects we'll use it for a, a lora receiver transmitter project which will be out on our channel very soon so i think this is a good board it gives you a good ui type of thing because you can put it directly on the front of any project it will display your stuff you can use these buttons uh, accelerometer you can use sometimes this is more of a gaming module so this is all about it of the oled12864 if you uh, want me to make a game out of this and the spa266 module leave it in the comments below give a like if you liked the video subscribe to our channel this is akar signing off